Have you ever wondered why harmful and wrong information seems to pervade every aspect of our lives? It's like an invisible fog that clouds our judgment, sways our perceptions, and even fuels our fears. This is misinformation, an omnipresent force shaping our society in ways we might not even realize. Misinformation has the power to create biases, sowing seeds of discord and misunderstanding among people. It can instill fear and confusion, causing us to question what we thought we knew, to doubt the very fabric of our reality. Its impacts are far-reaching, touching every corner of our lives, from our interpersonal relationships to our political views, from our understanding of science to our perception of other cultures. But where does it come from? How did it become so prevalent? Understanding the roots of this issue is crucial if we are to address it. This ubiquitous issue is not a modern phenomenon. In fact, it has roots in an ancient concept known as avidya. Avidya, a Sanskrit term from ancient Indian philosophy, can shed some light on this issue. As we delve into the concept of avidya, we must first understand that it's more than just a term. It's a representation of a fundamental reality that's often misunderstood. The word avidya is usually translated as ignorance or non-knowledge, but its implications are far deeper and more profound. Let's consider an iceberg. The visible tip represents our conscious knowledge, while the vast, unseen portion beneath the surface symbolizes avidya. This hidden expanse is not merely an absence of knowledge, rather it's a realm of misperceptions and misconceptions that we unknowingly hold on to. Avidya, in essence, is the distorted lens through which we view the world, leading us to hold misguided beliefs and ideas. According to Buddhist philosophy, avidya isn't just a harmless misunderstanding, it's the root of all suffering. This might seem like a bold claim at first, but consider how often we suffer due to our own misconceptions. We chase after illusions of happiness, we hold on to things that are transient, and we see separateness where there is unity. All of these are manifestations of avidya, but why does avidya exist? Ancient philosophers believed that it's a fundamental aspect of human nature. It's born out of our tendency to categorize, to separate, to cling onto identities. It's a byproduct of our survival instinct, causing us to see the world in terms of me and not me. However, avidya isn't a permanent state. It's like a fog that can be dispelled. Just as the rising sun gradually burns away the morning mist, the light of wisdom can clear the fog of avidya. As we gain deeper insights into the nature of reality, we can begin to see things as they truly are, free from the distortions of our own misconceptions. In essence, avidya is the fog that obscures our vision and leads us to misconstrue reality. But with the right tools and wisdom, we can begin to pierce through this fog, reforming our harmful information, ideas and beliefs, and ultimately reducing our suffering. Now, you may wonder, how does avidya apply to our modern world full of misinformation? Well, let's unravel that together. Avidya, the Sanskrit term for ignorance, is not just about the lack of knowledge. It's about the presence of misconceptions and false beliefs. In our digital age, this takes the form of misinformation. Just as avidya distorts our understanding of the self, misinformation distorts our perception of reality. It's an obstacle that prevents us from seeing things as they truly are. From political propaganda to fake health tips, Misinformation can lead to harmful actions and beliefs. It can cause societal division, endanger public health, and even disrupt democracies. But here's the silver lining. Just as we can overcome avidya through wisdom and understanding, we can combat misinformation with truth and education. Fact-checking, media literacy, and critical thinking are our weapons in this battle. So, the fight against misinformation is really a fight against avidya a fight against ignorance. Overcoming avidya is not a simple task, but it is crucial for our individual and societal well-being. In our journey through this video, we've delved into the prevalence of misinformation, the concept of avidya, and its pervasive presence in our current times. To combat avidya, this fog of ignorance, one has to arm oneself with the tools of critical thinking, education, and open-mindedness. Critical thinking enables us to question, to probe, and to not accept things at face value. Education equips us with the knowledge to discern fact from fiction, to separate the wheat from the chaff. Open-mindedness allows us to embrace new information, to adapt, to grow. Remember, avidya isn't a personal failing, it's a societal issue we all grapple with. 
But the antidote is within our reach. It lies in our willingness to learn, to question, and to keep our minds open. Only by lifting the fog of avidya can we see the world as it truly is, free from the distortions of misinformation.